Okay, so let's, let's look at this RSR in detail. Well, the first thing that you might see is the silver has got a pearlescent to it. It's a spectra pearl and the lacquer is enormously expensive and the finish is just gorgeous, especially in the sunlight. You'll see um, pictures of this car in the official uh, Shelsey Walsh um, hardback book and on the website. The engine, three litre engine, very high spec, detailed elsewhere, 286 horses if I remember rightly from the dyno, I've driven it myself and it is exceptionally swift combined with the lightweight of the car. Now other detail, see engine mounts there, custom wiring loom and you'll see back here the um, strengthened between the shock towers and then strengthened in the corners um, to support the um, coil over shock absorbers. Very thoughtfully built. This is your integral fire system all done to FIA spec. So really um, good back here. Um, this car could come with a short ratio gearbox. Currently it's on a normal um, road gearing. GRP engine lid. GRP wings. Fenders. Now inside, I've seen this car with the carpets out. Um, all the seat rails properly mounted. Proper FIA Recaro um, seat bases currently on sliders, which is FIA legal and FIA legal uh, Recaro seats, which uh, remain in date. Look, it's got a high go German cage, it's a bolted in cage, but um, with these additional mounting points going into the center tunnel crossbar for your harnesses and a diagonal is really well fitted roof lining is Alcantara and then further up there you can see the fire suppression system custom dash custom dials note the green uh, luminous green writing on them um, although the red line is set here at 7,300, um, I believe this car is safe to um, produce its power quite a long way beyond that. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's all uh, custom uh, aircraft spec wiring loom. It is being beautifully built. That's your fire suppression system. Now let's look under the um, under the bonnet. Door card's also lightweight, Alcantara. Windows are plexiglass sliders. Um, it could come with um, electric glass. Right, the first thing at the very nose, proper RSR oil cooler, properly ducted, and obviously the pipes running through and out to the back. Incidentally, the um, air equip brake lines are also running through the sills or rocker panels. Standard tank, but with a swell, swell pot, so it eliminates um, uh, the surge and one thing or another for competition. Center fill. Attention to detail is second to none. Note the welding on the shock towers, additional welding and the additional bracing. Uh, the holes in the bulkhead, that would ordinarily be here for the, um, for the mixer unit, the fresh air mixer unit. They've been closed over and again add strength. There's this um, heating system and custom fuse box. 
a note, even these holes have been welded shut, refinished, all the detail with the fastness. It's had a great deal of time, effort and uh, thought gone into this car. The only real areas of um, note, we've got a little tiny mark here, nothing really to worry about, one or two stone chips and uh, the window trims are a little tiny bit sort of um, tarnished or, or whatever, actually it is replaceable if uh, and possibly if you were putting in the glass windows you could replace these and maybe replace these if you were that way inclined. Let's see six point saw belt FIA harnesses as well because this car was built to be um, in safety terms legal. Lightweight carpet set. This is a proper thing, not a not just a made up hot rod. Four pot calipers in there. All um, poly bushed. Michelin TB15s. They've had a little bit of use, but um, they're super good. And then underneath, she's as clean as she is on top. Obviously we have other underside photos. You can see the air equipped lines going all the way to the uh, engine compartment and the oil tank. So that's it on beautiful Martini. And um, pleasure to have it. I just of note, the, these are decals rather than um, rather than being painted on, so they can come off if um, if required.